So what's a different representation? Well, a slightly more recent, uh, newer approach is what's referred to as point clouds. And point clouds are essentially, you take all of your depth pixels that you hit, and you say, aha, that's a little, we used to use the word voxel, it's a little voxel of stuff. And I'm just going to hang it out there in space. And so I would get this constellation of points that's just a cloud. Okay, now I actually can't see inside surfaces, so it's maybe a cloud that I can only see the outside of. But if I had like another camera, and I knew how those cameras were related, I could take the points that it saw and stick them out in the same cloud area. And eventually I would have this big point cloud of depth points, and it would be a lot easier to reason about the geometry of those. Now, of course, when we do this, that point cloud sort of doesn't know how it got created. Right, so did I look at it from here or did I look at it from there? So I don't have that free space uh, information uh, anymore. Um, so point clouds, of course, have their advantages and disadvantages. The biggest one is probably that it's viewpoint independent, right? So because it's viewpoint independent, I can merge different point clouds as long as they're in the same uh, coordinate system. And I can actually reason more uh, about the geometry. The disadvantages include, so for example, it's not, it might not be very dense, right? In depth image, I've got a depth everywhere. Point clouds, whatever points I got, I got. And if I want to know what's the depth going this way, I might not know the answer. I just know about these set of points. And so fundamentally, you've also lost this free space stuff, okay? Because you don't know, how, so I have a point right here. I don't know if it was viewed from this way or from this way. It was viewed this way, I know that all these uh, pixels along this ray are free. From here, it's over there. I don't have that representation in uh, point clouds. The other thing is, as I get further away, um, essentially my cloud, each individual pixel that I see is taking up a bigger and bigger voxel. So the point cloud density, uh, sorry, the, the point cloud resolution, you know, how big is a point cloud uh, point? Uh, the resolution is determined by how far away from the depth sensor I observe that point. So nearby ones are tight little points. Further back, they're bigger uh, voxels. But I didn't tell you yet about the biggest advantage. The biggest advantage about point clouds is the point cloud library. There's all this code out there, and it continues to grow, called PCL, for the manipulation of point clouds. And so that's code you don't have to write. All right, so it allows you to operate on depth, just not worrying about the details of the bookkeeping about these depth representations. So that's, that's really a huge uh, element. And one might even say if it wasn't for the PCL, the point cloud library, point clouds would not be nearly as popular as they are. Uh, uh, here's, a, <clears throat> here's a pointer to uh, what's the website? Pointclouds.org, all right, which tells you something, right? .org, this is open source. So it continues to, to grow and continues to improve.